which brings us to the idea of conditional probability. So conditional probability and I'm gonna define it and then we'll do another slide. So conditional probability is saying that if I have the question, if I'm asking the question what is what is the probability of A given that B has already occurred then this is saying that it's it is a probability of A intersection B that A and B occurred under the limited universe or limited outcome possibilities so because we're limiting our universe of possibilities to only B occurring so B has occurred and A and B have occurred after given that B has occurred so uh, in, in general when we talk about a probability of any event A, probability of any event A is in some ways a conditional probability also. The prob probability of A given that all prob probable events can occur. So which is really equal to 1 and we know this is probability of A intersection the universal set divided by the probability of the universal set and you know that the probability of the universal set is 1 so that's just 1 the denominator and probability of A intersection the universal set is nothing but the probability of A so this is one way to kind of clarify that we've always been conditioning whereas the conditioning is the universal set universe of all possibilities here we are limiting the universe to just be the universe of the occurrence of B so that is our definition so since we are on this topic then we will define independence in this form that is we say that A and B are independent if one this rule is satisfied or we can also say probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A given B complement which is equal to the probability of A. This is saying that the probability of A conditioned by the by B having occurred has no relevance to A because A is independent of B it doesn't matter whether whether B has occurred or B complement has occurred the probability of A occurring is independent of that so that's that's our definition of independence extended to conditional probability so what I'm going to do next is we'll uh, so we've finished these topics and we've defined conditional probability and so we are going to look at the tree view next and and Bayes theorem so in order to do that I will uh, clear my screen here let me do this I will select all of the stuff that I have here And let's just delete all of this. Let's delete all of that. That and that, and then look at the tree view. Uh, what I'm also going to do is uh, I will actually move this stuff to the top now so I can use more of the space. So, so the idea behind the tree view then is when we look at events and when we're particularly for conditional probability when we have a, a event sequence so an event sequence K 
can be viewed so if let's say uh, we let's take a simple example of um, B occur or A occurs and then B and then C so that's a sequence of events so we we kind of can ask ourselves so here is here is the occurrence of here's the tree for it we say A if let's say A has um, only two possibilities a, either A occurs or A does not occur so I can say these are the two possibilities on A now now that A has occurred or not occurred B itself can have again we'll take, keep it simple for now and B can have two possibilities B occurs or B does not occur now what we what we the, way, the idea of the tree view then is we, we say that this is this is the probability of A occurring so we, which takes us to A this is the probability of A complement occurring which takes us to A complement in other words if if A was a let's say the probability of A occurring was 0.2 then we write that the probability of a complement occurring which is 0.8 so the branches are the probabilities and this will take me to the scenario of A having occurred or A complement having occurred now this branch then is saying the probability of B occurring given that A has already occurred or this one says the probability of B complement occurring given that A has already occurred so those are my branches so s given that this e this bubble here is basically saying that A has occurred and B has occurred I'm going to label it, label it like that and this is going to be the label on this circle here because this says that both A have occur has occurred and B complement has occurred now similarly then these are my labels here this is the probability of B occurring given A complement has occurred and the probability of B complement occurring given A complement has occurred now again I'm going to label these as A complement intersection B and this is A complement intersection B complement so we can extend the tree view to further sequences and not only can we extend it to further sequences like C now if you include C to this then we can say yeah, either C can occur so this is the probability of C given A and B have occurred so that takes us to that and this is the probability of C complement given a intersection B has occurred both A and B have occurred and so on now one of the things we will do is we'll keep it simple for now and we will we will just look at for the most part a lot of problems we look at will simply have two two sequences uh, we talk about but sometimes there are problems where there are three events uh, whose dependencies we want to, whose conditioning we want to study. So I'll take these guys out for now. Uh, so I'm just going to keep it more sim simple. Um, and so this kind of tells us a lot of things. Uh, one of the things we could we could find out then is if we wanted to find out uh, what the probability of a is the pro or for, for that matter the probability of B is the probability of B is so B occurs here and B occurs in this case so probability of B can be written as probability of A occurs with B or probability of A complement occurs with B so these are the only scenarios where B occurs so B occurs with every other possibility of A so this is one so which tells me that the probability of B is the probability of getting here and the probability of getting here this is sometimes referred to as the 
total probability. So this is one of the other things we looked at in probability. Now, what we also looked at is um, the fact that the definition of probability, conditional probability can be ascertained from what we know here which says that the probability of B, so the the product of these two probabilities in order for me to be here I have to multiply these two which tells me that the probability of A intersection B equals the probability of A times the probability of B given A which is basically from our definition of conditional probability because the definition of conditional probability is so this is my definition of con conditional probability which says probability of B given A is simply the probability of A intersection B divided by the probability of A. So I'm just rewriting this in terms of by crossing them and this is the result. So if I want to find out what the probability of being at this node is, that is A and B are occurring, I simply multiply these two probabilities. So the tree view is very handy because it lets you visualize the problem and also answer a lot of interesting questions. Um, one of the things we always want to remember in the tree is branches leading out of a node always have their probabilities, the sum of their probabilities to be equal to 1. So this is point 0.2, point 0.8. That's simply saying that if I'm here, I can go here or here. These are the only two possibilities. So the sum of the, these two probabilities has to be 1. Now, what we, what we also know is that the sum of this and this is equal to the probability of B because by the definition of total probability. So um, we saw all these as a part of my tree view dot tree view PowerPoint file. Um, so which brings us to um, a couple of other axioms which are the total probability can be extended to more than two scenarios that is if I want to find out or for that matter even this. So what if I if I have a probability of A intersection B intersection C, if I went ahead and did one more of this, then this is A intersection B intersection C and this branch here is the probability of C given A intersection B. So I can extend this, I can say probability of A which is this term times the probability of B given A times the probability of C given A intersection B. So I'm going to write that. So and as you as you keep continuing it's going to be you can keep adding more terms. So this is the definition of of a intersection, the probability of A intersection, B intersection, C. So in fact I can extend this to A1 intersection, A2, let's say my events, uh, event sets are A1, A2, up A3, all the way up to intersection AN, then I can write that as the probability of A1 times the probability of A2 given A1 times the probability of A3 3 given A1 intersection A2 and all the way up to the probability of A sub N given the intersection of A sub I from I equals 1 to N minus 1. So this is just the definition of the intersection of various events, the probability of intersection of the various events.